All right. Uh, well, back to the what's good. Yeah. This is one I think we've done quite a lot. Uh, but online dating. I feel like we've done that before. We've done like <laughs> Tinder. When you say that's something we've done a lot. No, never, no, 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 no. We <laughs> haven't done online dating I've never dating been on Tinder. Lot. No, I've never done that. Well, I want to do that video soon. It, it's, such a, it's very late. It's a very late trend. But you know the uh, me and Laura doing Tinder for each other? Yeah. <laughs> very it, it's trend. funny to do, to be fair. I remember JJ two years ago was saying to me, why, why have you not done that video yet? It's an easy video. It's just me. It's, it's funny as yeah, well. Yeah. Like, but I think that I am banned because JJ used my number and got banned on it. Yeah, just get another number. True. But it's a bit much for a video. Yeah. <laughs> you can find someone's number. Just go, Just find someone in a relationship and go, do you mind if I just sign you, <laughs> yeah. sign you up to Tinder? <laughs> then, then we'll get banned. Uh-huh. Because I, I think they, no, they shouldn't use Tinder. They're in a yeah, relationship. Yeah, true. And then they might be doing a YouTube video in two years' time. Find one of your mates who's in a relationship that doesn't do YouTube. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Ask your mum or dad. Ask <laughs> No, imagine, 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 right? I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna say my mom and dad will do this. Imagine you like, you text your dad, right? And you're like, oh, oh dad, can I get your number for Tinder? And he starts getting like updates on Tinder. Oh and he's like, you know, what? I'll check this out. And then end up, you're you're responsible for breaking up your parents' relationship. You and know, your dad's now got like worse. a thirty year old girlfriend. What? Might be even worse. What? Oh, can I use your number? And they're like, no, sorry. And you're like, oh, how come? And they're like, oh. I can't explain. Oh, no, Try no. using it and it says already in use. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, or even worse, you say to them, oh dad, can I just use your number? For, like, I, I'm trying to sign up for something like, I don't want, to, don't want them to know it's me. And you don't tell them what it is. Oh my God. You don't say it's for Tinder and you get it, try to sign up and it's like taken. Oh my God. Oh! Yeah, just, if you don't tell your dad what it is. He'll do it. No, but if you don't tell your dad what it is and then he starts getting updates to Tinder, he's going to think you're cheating on Laura. <laughs> but unless he already is getting updates because he is on oh. it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Randolph, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Randolph. <laughs> oh my, by the way, right. Uh, right, so my dad is, uh, follows me on Twitch, right? And he just types in the comments sometimes. Yeah. Under flex. an alias. Not everyone knows who he is. Big flex, yeah. Big flex. Doesn't Adrian. follow me. Oh, sorry. He might, he might do. You don't know that. Really? I don't know that. Can, can, does he watch these? Little yeah, he, he does. Can you tell Randolph if he does? If you yeah, do? dad, do you, do you follow Simon on Twitch? If you don't, can you? Yeah, make sure you do. <laughs> No, so he, uh, I was doing a Nuzlocke, right? A Pokemon Nuzlocke. And the way that works is you, you catch a Pokemon, you name it something. And then if it, if it faints, you have to consider it like dead. And you okay. put it into your box in the PC or you just release it into the wild again. Okay. So if it faints, it's gone forever. And I did it with like people in my chat. So if you donate or if you're like, a, if you subscribe, I'll name the Pokemon after you. Okay. And if you faint, you're gone. You know, some people like Ludwig on Twitch, if you faint, he bans you from his chat. I don't, I don't have enough views to do that. I'll end up, That's Pete. I'll end up not having anyone, anyone watching. Uh, but my dad was one of the people who got named the, you know, named the Pokemon after him. Yeah. And then he, the Pokemon fainted. And I was like, it was a good title in the end because the title was like, I killed my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it banged. Good title. <laughs> Thanks. But um, I was like, oh, he was watching it at the time. So I was like, oh, dad, dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to release you. Is that okay? I'm going to I'm gonna have to kill you. And then someone, one of my mods screenshotted it. And the screenshot is just kill me. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really sad. <laughs> that's really sad. Like, he put like, that in such a way that's like, it doesn't sound like a joke. It's completely it's out okay, of context. Randall. If he had put son at the end. Yeah, it's okay, son. That would have been, that would actually been heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. You finding it? Yeah, you can do the next one maybe, but okay. I just want to see like. Well, what, do you, what are you saying for online dating? Oh, uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously you can find like a lot of weirdos out there, a lot of catfish out there, but that's, I think that's like the, Minority, I think. Um, yeah. Obviously, as long as you stay safe and know the rules and stuff, then it's, it's it's fine. I think it's a good way to find people. Realistically, like you know, in films, who goes to a bar and just like stumbles upon the love of their life? It happens, sure, but in, in this yeah. day and age, it's different, right? I, I could never imagine that. And you, you, you can I could get definitely to know imagine. I could definitely yeah. imagine like Tinder over yeah. that. Yeah, a hundred percent. I actually watched a film on that the other day. Really? It was like, um, I can't, it was Love Guaranteed or something like that. Yeah, it's a proper rom com. Yeah. Um, Yes, I watch rom-coms. Get over it. They're funny. They're great. <laughs> it's about a guy. It's it's a dating website that basically says yeah. you're guaranteed to find love. Mm -hmm. But you have to, their minimum thing is like you have to do a thousand dates. So it's some guy okay. who does a thousand dates, hasn't found love. So he sues the company. Yeah. And I was just like, I think, I think you could definitely find one in a thousand people in there. Yeah. But, yeah. And the thing is as well, right? Say if you go to a bar. You have to first meet them in real life. You have to speak to them. You're there for like, and it, it, it just sounds fun, you know? I mean, I met Laura when I was 14, right? But anyway, you meet someone there, you get to know them a little bit on that one date. Yeah. And then like, if you if you don't like them, that's your day ruined, right? So not ruined, but it's time wasted. Yeah. So you, you know, you had drinks, you spent the evening together like at the bar. 
And then now you got to go home and like maybe think, oh, I don't really like that person. Whereas online dating now, you can get past that barrier. Yeah, First, you, you already can speak know to that twenty you people like similar topics. Yeah, it might be yeah. it might be negative because you know you start to get too picky. You start trying to find the perfect person because if you do meet someone naturally, yeah, you might not have much in common, but you, you know the vibe was nice. You get to, yeah. get to know them. Whereas online, you might think, oh, that person we don't have enough in common. I don't want to speak to them. But you never know that person could have been your like lifelong partner. That's the thing. I feel like on the only really bad thing online is you would start seeing things in their profile that could put you off that realistically shouldn't yeah like for example if you know if you mentioned pokemon yeah in your bio yeah the amount of people that will click off it exactly when in reality they'll meet you and go like okay like in their head they're probably thinking oh he probably sleeps in a charizard yeah what, what a child where, where, where's laura you know laura was never a fan of pokemon now she like runs a business that's what i mean like <laughs> run around you, pokemon yeah you're not you're not like you don't want to have you don't want to have sex with a Pokemon. Like, <laughs> no, no, but that's no. what they might see. They might take... Yeah. Text always like trans- translates differently. Yeah. So I guess there's pros and cons, but I think that I- I'd say the pros... There's nothing wrong yeah, with it. sure. This is sure. the message. Oh my God. That's really sad. Can they, I'll give it... I'll send it to Nick and Joel, but... <laughs> that's really sad. <laughs> Kill me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next one. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check oh. my video. Okay. I hate like not knowing how it's doing. Okay. Can you give an update on IP? Yeah. I'm going to go P. Although, yeah, there's, there's no one out of 10 yet. Or like, there's no okay, out of well, 10. I'm going to tell you the next one. Wow. Okay, yeah, go for it, go for it, go it's for it. convertible cars. Oh, okay. My, my light's going to go off, right? Yeah, no worries, right? So my opinion on convertible cars is this, guys. I don't like them because they're often like on cars that don't look good, you know? Specifically soft tops. Soft tops aren't great. And I'm speaking about the ones where it's like, you know, a piece of fabric, like your mum's dinner cloth on the back of your car that, you know, to take down, you have to like press a button, wait there for like half an hour. It's like really loud. Then it finally tooks in under your car and it starts raining in the UK, right? In the UK, they're definitely stupid. In like LA or something or like, you know, Dubai or somewhere where it's like always warm, then I get them. But I'd rather I'd rather it be like a hard top or on a car that suits it. You know, all these people who get like a Peugeot and put a soft top on a Peugeot, I'm like, no. You know what I'm saying? You can't polish a turd. I'm not, I'm not saying Peugeots are turds. But I'm saying like, you can't do that to a, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if I got like a Skoda Fabio, which I, that's my favorite, you know, I loved that car as a kid. My first car, absolute crazy times in that car, you know, I would never soft top that. Whereas, you know, you get like a Lamborghini or like, I'm not a, a car guy necessarily, you know, so I don't really know. But if you get like a Lamborghini, or like a Ferrari, and it's like, I oh know, he might have to just air dry them. Oh, if you didn't hear Simon, he said he's got nothing to dry his hands. It might not have picked up on the mic, and I might have just said, <laughs> just air dry them for no reason. Anyway, um, Hard tops, yeah, I do like that. If it's designed to be convertible and it's got the technology in the car designed by the car manufacturer to go convertible, that's fine. But I still think my light's turned off because just turn your aircon on or open your windows, you know? That being said, you've got like a Ford Mustang or something, you're like driving Route 66 or something like that. You want to let your hair down, you know, you want to, you know, enjoy the, the vibes, you want to like, you know, insects flying into your face and go for it. That was a very good waffle. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard it all. <laughs> you know, I, I decided just firm it at the start and go in, in, in detail <laughs> as much as possible. So your light's off. Yeah, what about you? I don't know. I heard what you said, like, in somewhere like LA, it kind of makes sense, yeah. you know, where it's sunny. But soft tops are annoying, aren't they? Because they, they don't look good, like, up. Yeah, the majority of them don't. I feel, I feel like it has to look good as a car before you convert it into the... Uh... Yeah, like, I love I love uh, the Evoke. Yeah. Like, I had one, Toby's got one, etc. Yeah. But, I love that, but I've seen those like soft top. Like, yeah, it's grim. It's not, and it's not like you don't, you're not supposed to put a soft top on that type of. Well, maybe you are actually. Like, I don't four, know. four by four, like you know, stuff like style car. I mean, I don't mind them. I think nowadays they're actually all right because they can be hard tops now and stuff. So, and it, it actually like the top of it goes down all right. Yeah, if it's built in the car. Yeah, like a yeah. lot of the old ones, for example, where you have to like you have to put it down before you start. Yeah. And you have to do it like by hand and stuff. By that, I don't like the, those classic types, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. All right, next one. Mm-hmm. Flip phones. I think I've had this. Have we? I'm not Probably. sure. We might but have. I love them. Yeah. I think they're great. You know how cool they I'll used agree. to be? I'll agree with that. Oh, bring, bring, bring. <laughs> Hello? What, what is your favorite kind of phone type? Just, just in terms of, uh, like, the options kind of thing are this type like an iphone where I, I, I don't think we should count the iphone no no but i mean not an iphone i mean like one where it's all screen you got to think of this in in like okay. past how it made you feel at the time as well one where you have buttons and then a screen a flip phone a slide phone um i used to have a nokia 
550D or something like that. What's that? Uh, it was a slide. It was amazing. <sighs> I had one. I had one with the the two. It, my one was blue, but it also came in red down the side of the top okay. screen. It was like the music phone. Yeah. It was like Nokia's music phone. Yeah, I think mine was similar esque. I think it must have been similar period. <sighs> that was they were amazing, favorite. but I, I, I think we should take the screen, this this, out, this t- smartphone okay. out of it because, right? It's so different. Yeah, Samsung, you know, whatever, whatever brand you have now, they're very similar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People go back to flip phones. People go back to like slidey phones. But at the end of the day, this it works, right? Yeah. That's why we, so I can't not, I can't not say this. Okay. Yeah. Take that out. Yeah. I think s- slide still. Like slide flip. Bling, bling. You know, like a, <laughs> like a Nokia 3210 or whatever. Yeah. Where it's just the phone. It's but, like. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was nice. That was nice. But. The buttons, the snake and the buttons like squishing. Like. Kadoosh, yeah. Kadoosh. I think I, the flip phone was always, when you're a kid, a flip phone just looked cool. <laughs> like you literally, you'd get one, you'd pretend to Especially if it's got like the little aerial on it as well. It's like, starts ringing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd feel really cool <laughs> doing that. I might get a work phone, you know, and call it my trap phone. You just have like. Slide phones were always sit there because you'd literally just, it was like pop- an original fidget spinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it actually like, was, yeah. And then after like a year, your screen like doesn't even like stay now. You tip yeah. upside down, it just falls down because <laughs> yeah. you've done it too much. But I think slides are my favorite. Slides flipped and Nokia like, is it, what is it, 3210? 32, 33, 10. 33, yeah. They were great. Yeah, I did do, like do, them. Do, do. Or is that, is that 24? No, that's... Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, bro, everyone watching this podcast don't know what we're talking about. No. <laughs> like, wait, there's a phone before the iPhone? <laughs> then I did that. 